This afternoon, King Charles and Princess Anne attended a military event at Buckingham Palace, where they gave the Blues and Royals a new standard. The king cautioned the nation continues to confront an array of threats and difficult times during a rare joint outing with Princess Anne. In a ceremony this afternoon at Buckingham Palace, the monarch and Princess Royal, Colonel of the Blues and Royals, delivered the new sovereign standard to the Blues and Royals Squadron, Royal Horse Guards and First Dragoons of the Household Cavalry. Charles arrived just after 2 o'clock p.m. to a trumpet fanfare while carrying a field marshal baton and donning the field marshal uniform. They stood on a dais as 35 troops and 27 horses lined up on the quadrangle to receive the new standard, while Anne was dressed in her Blues and Royals Colonel costume, which she previously wore during the coronation last month. Prior to being handed by the king, the new standard, which is made of silk damask with gold embroidery and displays the royal arms and the combat honors of the regiment, was consecrated by the chaplain general Padre Tom Sander and Padre Ian Rogers. The household cavalry mounted regiment's squadron commander, Major Peter Ireland, received the standard after he gave it a quick touch. Then, from the days, Charles delivered a brief address in which he recalled the squadron's long associations with the king and praised its troops' exceptional combined operational and ceremonial functions. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pride to be here with you today to deliver your new standard, which symbolizes the close relationship between the sovereign and the blues and royals that has existed since before the Restoration in 1661. The golden thread that ties you to your glorious past is your standard, which served as the physical focal point for your ancestors in the past. Your outfits and medals, which are prominently displayed in your ceremonial role together with the battle honors on it, are further examples of your demonstrated history as battle-tested mounted and dismounted troops with recent operational experience. Yes, I am aware that some of you are serving with the UN peacekeeping force in Cyprus right now. Such history honors your dual function, and that is undoubtedly the core idea that gives state ceremonies and public duties their distinctive significance and credibility in the eyes of a grateful country. Maintaining such standards of greatness and performance is crucial during these trying times for our nation, as we continue to face a variety of dangers in many different ways, both locally and globally. As your Colonel-in-Chief, I know that the Princess Royal, who is also your Colonel, joins me in expressing gratitude to all of you for your unflinching support and unending dedication, as well as to your families, some of whom I am happy to see can be here with us today. I entrust this standard to your care, so that it may serve as a source of pride and motivation for each and every one of you serving your country, wherever you may be. The Sovereign's Escort Mounted Unit was then given the standard, and they rode by Charles and Anne and saluted them once more. Following the brief ceremony, Charles and Anne spent some time in the quadrangle, visiting with some of the 75 attendees, including former and present members of the household cavalry, as well as friends and family of those in the parade. Brigadier Andrew Parker Bowles, the former commanding officer of the household cavalry and ex-husband of Queen Camilla, is also among the attendees. The event typically occurs once every 10 years, and the late queen last gave the squadron her standard, in May 2014, the West Yorkshire family firm Weedian created the handcrafted Blues and Royals standard. On Saturday at Trooping the Color, the King's first birthday parade, the newly consecrated standard will be shown. Thank you for watching. Write what you think about it. Subscribe to the channel.